Hey everybody, it's Rick. Woo! What is today? Uh, January 23rd, 2021. It's been a long time. Uh, apologize for that, but, uh, you know, <laughs> I can't tell you how many, uh, you know, videos I planned on making and even had slides made up, but, you know, everything that's going on, there's no excuses, but, you know, I guess a lot of it has to do is I, you know, lost some confidence in myself. Um, you know, I lost my mojo. You know, sometimes you 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 feel like you you have nothing to add. Uh, I'm not a, a bullshit artist. I don't uh, make videos to um, you know push my paperwork. You know, for a gift. Um, like an advertisement, so whatever, but um, I always want to, you know, make a video that can help people, not just me up here in front of you, you know, blabbering my mouth. Anyway, um, you know, wow, what's going on in the world is it's insane right now. Um, basically, the people that, um, that we've been fighting in the courts are basically the people who are in charge right now. Um, if you've been paying attention, uh, it's the same type of tactics, um, you know, the, you know, whether you're for Trump or, you know, if you're paying attention to what's going on, there, there definitely was a lot of fraud going on with the election. A lot of fraud. It was, it was, it was blatant. I, I felt like, uh, you know, what I went through when I was in court, uh, they just make up their rules, you know, uh, and if you show up prepared, they just, as they uh, use the term, move the goal goalposts. It just make up as it go along. I remember seeing um, uh, one news footage of uh, one of the poll watchers trying to get into to uh, you know do his job, and they just were like, "No, you can't come in." And with a camera rolling and everything, didn't even care. It was like uh, it seemed to me like they were told, "Do whatever you got to do. Don't worry about it." And, you know, look, look, look what happened. Um, I noticed for a fact, see, I'm, I'm, my thing is, uh, I've always, I told a lot of you my history. A lot of you may not know who I am, but I started making videos a few years ago. I have videos going back in the old days when I first started making videos. You could actually see me in court. I've actually been in court. There are some, uh, you know, gurus who have never been in court before. What they do is they become an expert by uh, watching videos and, you know, by watching videos and reading information, and that makes them an expert somehow. And some of them are smart, but if you've never been in court, if you've never done battle in court, uh, <laughs> you, you don't understand that just because you have the information doesn't mean they're going to let you, you know, present it. So like with Trump and... and people fighting for him, they were never able to get inside a courtroom to present the evidence. That's what they do. They, they'll do anything that they can to pre prevent you from getting inside a courtroom and getting on record to present evidence. Okay? So, that's what happened. Now, as far as we're concerned with child support, we don't want to go to court. <laughs> okay? You don't want to go to court. Because they need you inside the courtroom or administrative court, um, you know, to be specific. They need you in there because your appearance there, it's implied consent. All right. And all uh, the child support uh, simulated process, expert, they call it expedited process. And it's, it's a legal process. Um legal process. See, they need your consent under 42 U.S.C. 659 consent by the United States to income withholding, garnishment, and similar proceedings for enforcement of child support and alimony obligations. Okay, so um, what do we got here? Legal process. I click on it. Legal process means any writ order or summons or other similar process in the nature of garnishment. Okay, that's that's the reason why they need you to show up so they can get the ball rolling 
to start stealing your money, okay? And a legal process, they need your consent, okay? And I'm going to show you uh, a defense that we can start throwing in their face. Okay, human trafficking, okay? You're being, you're being made into a debt slave. As soon as you show up there and they want to start uh, garnishing or withholding your income, you are becoming a debt slave. You're becoming, uh, you are in, in, uh, in servitude, okay? Now, the 13th Amendment is, uh, is involuntary servitude is not permitted under the 13th Amendment of the United States Constitution. Now, you know what's funny? It says, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude. See that word, involuntary servitude. If there's involuntary, that means there's voluntary servitude. So, by you showing up, and you could become a, a voluntary slave. That's their goal. Their goal is to make you into a voluntary slave. That's the whole goal. So, if you show up, you have to just say i do not consent but there's an even better way of doing that the best way of doing that is on paper so you want to present paperwork saying that you are not consenting to the legal process because it's a crime under um where is it look at section here uh, 18 usc 1589, which is forced labor, whoever knowingly provides or obtains the labor or services of a person by any one or any combination of the following means, okay, we get down, um, by means of abuse or threatened abuse of law or legal process, um, we look at C, Section C, the term abuse or threatened abuse of legal process means the use or threatened use, whether administrative, civil, or criminal, any manner or for any purpose for which the law was not designed, in order to exert pressure on another person to cause that person to take some action or refrain from taking action. Okay, what they do is they send you the letter telling you that you have to appear or you may be arrested or your license may be suspended and they're tricking you to it's it it's it's coercion they're coercing you to show up all right and when you show up they got you so the best thing to do is to send them paperwork saying to them that you're not you're not going to consent that way it's on the record that you're not consenting to legal process you have to consent to legal process now of course they're going to say no that's why it's best to have it on paper and to prove to them that that you know you you must give consent to legal process all right so now why they they're quick to call you a sovereign citizen uh, because we look at the, the definition of a private person and private person means a person who does not have sovereign or other special immunity or privilege which causes the person not to be subject to legal process what causes you not to be subject to legal process by being a man or a woman, by live, being a living, breathing man or woman. You're not a person. You're a man or a woman. That's the reason why they attack you. Uh, I've had people, you know, submit my paperwork, and they're immediately called a sovereign citizen. 
You cannot let them get away with this. You cannot let them get away with calling you a sovereign citizen. You have to say, I'm sovereign, but I'm not a sovereign citizen. I have a right to not consent to legal process. I did not contract with you. Legal process is strictly for contractual issues only. The whole thing is contractual. Okay? That's what they don't want you to know. So that's why you want to uh, demand, well, when did I contract with anybody? When, when, when did this happen? Where is my signature? They need your signature. They always need your signature. Uh, yeah, you know, for bonds, if you were ever arrested, they need your signature to sign, uh, you know, for a bond to get out of jail. There's your signature. You need your signature for a mortgage, for a car loan. They need your signature for this. Okay. Another way of getting your signature is by your verbal, you, you, you know, not, not, not verbally saying I'm not consenting. So, this is a way of scaring them off by putting in the paperwork that, uh, that they're abusing your rights. They're abusing your, your rights to, to refuse to consent. They cannot force you to contract with them. So human trafficking is a good way of attacking them by putting them on a defense that they make they're causing you to become a a debt slave. They're human trafficking, they're trafficking you, they're trafficking your your services. How many of you are are uh, been arrested because you couldn't pay your child support because you were you're not working? That's forced labor. They're forcing you to work. And if you cannot work, you could you're going to be arrested oh it's unbelievable uh it's on 22 USC 7101 sections 12 and 13 uh what well, let me read the uh, uh, section a of human trafficking purposes of this chapter are to combat trafficking in persons and excuse me about that <laughs> the manifestation of slavery whose victims are predominantly women and children, also men. Child support. Child support is trafficking. And these here, these laws are a good way of threatening these people, saying you're committing a crime. Forced labor, 18 U.S.C., 18 U.S.C. is a, is a crime. Okay. Peonage, slavery, involuntary servitude, forced labor. Uh, what we got here? Income withholding orders are null and void pursuant to 42 U.S.C. 1994. If you read them very, very carefully, everyone, this may help you convict the judge, child support employees, and lawyers. But you could sue them under federal law. Also, threatening lawsuits under 18 U.S.C. for human trafficking, it, it, it can scare them uh, by force, fraud, or co coercion. 1591 U.S.C. The term coercion threats of serious harm or physical restraint. Any scheme, plan, or pattern intended to cause a person to believe that failure to perform an act would result in serious or physical restraint, that imprisonment, jail. If you don't show up, you don't work, they're going to put you in jail. How many of you have been jailed already? Maybe you might consider going back, looking at this, and, and filing a lawsuit. Because they're tricking you. I, I've done, I've mentioned this plenty of times in my videos where uh they they use the word may you may be arrested your license may be suspended it's 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 to to scare you to show up okay so what you do is you're going to file paperwork telling them that you're not consenting to the legal process and if you receive paperwork that you got to go to court in the near future 
You're going to file paperwork. I have paperwork for that. Okay? So, I've added this to my paperwork. I'm, I'm using this defense, these defenses here to fight these people. And I've, you know, I've had people use my paperwork and, and uh, well, I've, I got people out there selling my paperwork. <laughs> my paperwork is that good that people get my paperwork and they're uh, entrepreneurs. They're selling my paperwork. There's several people out there I know selling my paperwork. So, I mean, what am I going to do? <laughs> what am I going to do? It's, it's, it's a compliment, but what am I going to do? I'm not going to go crazy. I mean, I don't want to, if I, if I've, I've had people, I sense out, I can figure out that they're looking to get my paperwork to sell it. They're not getting my paperwork. Okay. It's not what it's for. Okay. If anybody's going to see any, you know, anything, it's going to be me. It's my hard work. Um, Nope, not that one. There we go. This is the this is the first folder you would receive if you were to get my paperwork. Okay, there's 44 affidavits. No, uh, this is the instructions. This is notice to the clerk. Okay. You want to notice the clerk that you want that you're gonna that you're gonna notify them of your rights, and you want the clerk to respond with the evidence that you harm somebody or the evidence that the uh, the complainant or claimant plaintiff filed. Because the way it's, they're not supposed to, the way it works is somebody cannot just. Uh, cause you to show up to court on an allegation they have to present evidence probable cause well with child support it's not because it's it's a game it's it's an application the person is applying for services but they want you to think that that you got to go to court it's, it's, it's such a scam but anyway let's forget about that right now i'm just getting myself you know warmed up with this i'm kind of rusty anyway um Yeah, there's, there's about 55 affidavits right here. I got I got a lot of things covered here, um, a lot of things. All right, you you're you're definitely going to do fine if you if you're interested in receiving paperwork before dealing with these people, you're not going to get ripped off when you deal with me. Okay, uh, what we got here. Okay, notice of motion for objection, demand for dismissal with prejudice for the defendant cannot be forced to participate in a legal process for it is a crime of forced labor under 18 U.S.C. Okay, this is a new affidavit that I made, very recent. Okay, what you're doing here is you're notifying the court that it's a crime. Courts don't like being accused of infringement of uh, participating in a crime against you okay so just this is just to show you that I put you know that I'm using this as a defense for you for you guys okay so if anybody's interested here it is okay uh, what else we got And there's another one. Objection, demand for dismissal. Well, actually, this is... Um, yeah, you cannot be held in default. Okay. You cannot be held in default. Because they did not get your permission to participate in the legal process. Okay. So, that's another one I added. Anyway, if you're interested, reach out to me. All right, so uh, I'm going to end this video now, <clears throat> just to get my feet wet again. Uh, again, I'm really rusty.
All right, so uh, all right, we touched on uh, human trafficking. All right, look up uh, USC 7101 or um, the Human Trafficking Victims of Trafficking and Violence Protection Act of 2000. Look that up, okay? Look up this stuff, read, and you're going to see it applies to you, all right? terms private person we just went over this before okay next video I'll talk about uh, understanding the tricks that they use to get you into court we just covered some of them okay what you want to do also is you want to tell them I do not accept this offer to contract and I do not consent to these proceedings so if you have to go to court get that on record right away if you if you have to show up if you already showed up to court already you got to keep going so you might want to start off with that right away and you don't want to you don't want to get you don't want to be answering questions anymore you want them to answer the questions okay but we're going to talk about this in my next video all right all right guys i'll talk to you soon bye